get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, this is it. We have reached our final unit of lessons. Can't believe it. Well, it seems like we just started, but we got some new songs today. We got some new games today. We got some new activities to do. So enough talking about it. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, got a brand new song for you. A song I'm going to actually play along with on my ukulele. It's like a guitar, but a little bit smaller. Pretty fun to play too. This song is a song that sailors used to sing. Now, have you ever heard of a coral reef? A coral reef? A coral reef is a beautiful, beautiful thing in the water. It's almost like an underwater garden. Coral is this multicolored, almost like a plant that grows underneath. It kind of creates a nice little environment for the fish and all the wildlife and all the animals that live in the ocean to live in. Well, sometimes coral will wash up on shore. And sometimes it'll actually float to the surface. And as sailors are sailing by, they might see it and pick it up. Well, people on land sometimes have a hard time finding this coral. So coral can actually be worth pretty much money. So when the sailors would get to town, they'd sometimes have some pieces of coral with them that they could trade for different things, clothes, food, when they got to town. Well, here's a song about that. It's called Coral. It goes like this. Oh, sailor, come ashore, what have you brought for me? Red coral, white coral, coral from the sea. Listen again, I have a question. How many phrases are there? How many times do you take a breath? Oh, sailor, come ashore, what have you brought for me? Red coral, white coral, coral from the sea. How many did I take? Only two. Nice job. I'll sing this time. You echo back a little bit shorter. Listen. Oh, sailor, come ashore. What have you brought for me? What have you brought for me? Lou, Lou, Lou. That's not familiar. Mm hmm, hmm. Do, re, me. It's a tricord, right? Good. Red coral, white coral. Coral from the sea. Coral from the sea. Lou, 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 Lou. Another tricord, isn't it? Me, me, re, re, do. Hey, another question though. Me, me, re, re, do. What type of note is do? It sounds longer than the other. Remember what type of note? A half note, exactly right. Good. Listen again. Oh, sailor, come ashore. What have you brought for me? Red coral, white coral. Coral from the sea. Nice job. Try the whole song with me this time. Ready? Here we go. Come ashore, what have you brought for me? Red coral, white coral, coral from the sea. Nice job. Now, here's a little fun game you can play with somebody at your house. It's almost like a little bit of a guessing game, okay? You sing the song, and in each of your hands, you have something in this hand and something in this hand. The thing in this hand can be either red or white. You get to pick. It's like that piece of coral. Other hand... Well, that's got to be something that's a different color. It could be purple, it could be black, it could be blue, it could be green, any color is fine. As long as it's not red, as long as it's not white. Got two things. You sing the song, you hold your hands out. The person at the end has to guess which hand has the red or white piece of coral, whatever you have, in which hand. If they guess the right hand, they get a point. If they guess the wrong hand, they lose a point. See how many points they can get. And then maybe you can try it too. You can mix and match a little bit. The more people you have, the more fun you get. I also like a little contest with it. So have some fun with your song Coral and have some fun making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. 
<laughs> All right, second grade, we're going back to a song that we know already. One of my favorites, actually. It's a song that's perfect for right now because the weather's starting to get a little bit nicer. Time to go outside and maybe take a little hike, take a little climb up a mountain. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Great, sing it with me this time. Keep that steady beat, here we go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Great. Really like this song, Rocky Mountain. It's a fun one. Okay, let's try something. Now, you need to use your imagination here a little bit. You need to imagine that you are a mountain. Here's the peak of the mountain, climbing up the mountain. Your feet are the base of the mountain, the foot of the mountain. Watch your feet, okay? Imagine that your fingers are the mountain climbers, okay? Now I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. And I want you to watch, I wanna see if you can do this along with me. It's a little bit tricky. Let's see if I can get the shot here, okay? Your fingers are the mountain climbers. They're gonna start on your feet. They're gonna move up, they're gonna move down, they're gonna climb up the mountain and climb back down as we sing this song. Watch closely. Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rock Rocky Mountain High, when you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. How'd it go? Did the mountain climbers make it? Let's try it one more time. Try to keep up with these. Sing along too, it actually helps out, right? Start your feet, here we go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do. Do remember me. How'd it go, guys? Did they climb? Oof. Can be a little tricky. All right, now, I have a picture for you, too. I'll show you a picture. I got a lovely picture here. Lovely mountain range. You know what? This actually matches up pretty well with one part of our song. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What words would match up with that picture? Hmm, 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 hmm. Do remember me. Exactly. Good. Let's point at this picture while we sing that last phrase of the song. Here we go. Do, 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 do remember me. Good. Nice job. Guys, next week we're going to come back, we're going to ask a couple questions about Rocky Mountain. So get ready for next week and get ready to keep on making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, got a new song for you from the state of Louisiana, a song called Great Big House in New Orleans. And it goes like this. Great Big House in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, Filled with pumpkin pie. Kind of a fun song. You know, hold on a second. It sounds like we have some half notes. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Pie. The word pie, right, is a half note. Good job. I'll sing you Echo Back. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. 
every room that I've been in. Filled with pumpkin pie. Nice job. Try the whole song with me. Here we go. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Good. Now, in this song, we can actually add a little bit more to it than just the song, just the melody. We can actually add some rhythms to it. So what I want you to do is this. Get a piece of paper, something to write on, and write four beats, four blank beats. Boom, 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 boom. I want you to come up with a pattern that you could clap along with this song. Four beats long. Let's do an easy one to start. I'll just do, uh, how about this? Ta-dee-ta, ta 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 It's a four beat pattern, right? So I can write out the ta eighth notes, ta, chord note. Let's see what happens if we clap that while we sing it. See, watch. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Works pretty well. Or you could do something else. You could, uh, you know, you could even do something with our new rhythm, Takadimi. Let's try this. Four beats long, right? Watch. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. That's a really tricky one. Maybe you could do that one. You could do maybe an easier one, too. Write out a four-beat pattern, and then see if you can clap that while somebody else sings a song. You can kind of accompany them with the song. If they're keeping a steady beat, that's a really good way to keep it all together. Then, if you want to get really get challenging, you could do one pattern, but you could also do a second pattern and have somebody else do that at the same time. If you want to get really tricky, something else you can do is instead of just clapping it, well, why don't you maybe use some of your instruments that you've made? You made those castanets. Uh, you have your bottles. You have a lot of different instruments that we've made throughout this year. So use those instruments to make some music with Great Big House in New Orleans. And most importantly, have some fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, we're writing out some patterns, hopefully, that last song, Great Big House in New Orleans. I'm going to write a pattern out for you now, okay? I'm going to put up a time signature. I'm going to put two beats, bar line, two beats. I'll put a double bar line because that's the end, okay? I'm going to write out a pattern. I want to see if you can figure out what this pattern is, okay? Not too hard. Not too hard. Almost done. Okay, you ready to see it? Hmm. Let's take a look at this before we do anything with it. Can you hear that in your head? Can you think it in your head? It's on the third beat. What's that one called? Oh, Takadimi, our new one, four sounds on a beat. Can we speak it? Let's try it. ta di ta di takadimi ta Good. Now, instead of just speaking it, how about you grab one of your instruments? Or just grab something to make some sound on. It doesn't matter. You can grab a box if you want. It doesn't matter. You can just make some sound on anything. Anything can be a musical instrument. All right, let's try it. Can you play it now? I'll actually just tap it here with my marker. Here we go. How'd it go? All right, let's uh, mix it up here a little bit. Let's try something else. Um, okay, try something different here. I think I like it. I think I like it. Do you like it? I don't know. Let's find out. What's different? Do you notice something different? Hopefully you do. First beat's different. Yes, it's a Takadimi. Now, now we have two Takadimis. Hmm, good luck. Let's speak it. Takadimi ta di, takadimi ta. Could you try to play this on an instrument now? Could you play this pattern? Just grab something, just tap it with that rhythm, okay? I'll tap it on here, you tap it on your instrument. Here we go. Takadimi ta di, takadimi ta. Cool. Okay, try another one. Okay, might as well. Might as well go for it. Might as well just go for it. You ready? Are you sure? Okay. Here it is. Oh! Oh my goodness. Three Takanemes! Have I gone crazy? Maybe. I don't know. We got three Takanemes in a row. Can you hear it in your head? What would that sound like? Can you think it in your head? 
Can we speak it together? Here we go. Takadimi, 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 ta. Hmm. Let's see if we can play it now. Grab that instrument, whatever you're playing on. Maybe grab something different. Experiment a little bit. Here we go. Let's play it. Takadimi, 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 ta. Good. Okay. You'll notice I didn't put a takadimi in the last beat. I put it in the first, second, third. But I usually don't put it in the last beat. That's a little too tricky. But here's what you can do now. You can write out some patterns of your own and see if you can trick somebody at your house, okay? So write out some patterns. You can make up your own. I'd say you definitely use a takadimi, though. It's a cool rhythm. And if people don't know about it at your house, maybe your mom or dad or brothers or sisters don't know about this. Well, you can show it to them and teach them a little bit yourself. Either way, whether you're writing music or whether you're making music, make sure you're having fun. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear? Over if I ever had.